Now, let's see how we can apply the assumption method into one of our PSRE questions. In this question, only the second part is pertaining to the assumption method. So let's settle the first part first. Now, Mei had some books. She donated 3 over 8 of the books and gave away another 24. And then she had 4 over 7 of the books left. So indirectly, we can actually apply our branching method. So let's write it out. We have the books, and the books were split into uh, 3 sections. Your first part, donated. The second part, given away. And the last part, the leftover amount. So the donate third actually takes up 3 over 8 of the total. Given is 24 books exactly. And the leftover portion is 4 over 7. Now, we know that we're actually comparing these fractions here as compared to the same total number of books. So we can already make all of these denominators the same. 56, we get 21. 56, we get 32. This would allow us to go and determine what fraction of the books would actually refer to the given portion. So if we take one whole, and we were to minus away this 21 over 56 and 32 over 56, we get 3 over 56. 3 over 56 is represented by the given section here. So that means we can count 3 units refers to 24, where 1 unit equals to 8. And because we're counting the number of books that were used to pack into the uh, 20 boxes, so we can actually just count 32 units, which is 256. But now, using this value, we're going to be applying it into our assumption method, which is a main focus for this type of question. So part B. Now, remember, look at what we are asking for first. We are trying to determine the number of boxes that contain 18 books, so basically boxes of 18. So remember, like what I mentioned in the earlier part of the video, we always start off with the opposite first, which means I am looking at boxes of 10. So assume all boxes have 10 books. This means that we will be able to have 10 times 20, because there are 20 boxes, which is 200 books. However, that is not exactly the number of books that we want. Because in our previous section, we already just found out that there were supposed to be 256 books. So in this case, our big difference will be 256 minus the 200 books. That means we are supposed to have another 56 more. But where will they come from? They will come from changing our small boxes to our big boxes. Because instead of 10 books, I want to have 18 books. I want to have 8 more per box. So the number of boxes of 18 will actually be determined by taking 56, which is the number of books I need extra, divided by the number of extra books per box, which means that I will have 7. And in fact, the final answer in this case is 7. 